Two in ones are tailor made for two different scenarios work and play. For work, the keyboard stays put, and for play, the keyboard gives way to the touchscreen. But what makes the experience complete is a combination of this two in one hardware and the software, which in our case is Windows. The latest iteration, Windows 10, adds a feature called Continuum, which clearly is made for two in ones. So let's go ahead and see how it helps with the experience. But a bit of history first. Windows 8, the previous iteration, was supposed to be the solution for 2-in-1s. But it ended up being a jarring experience with two distinct interfaces interfering with the flow. Windows 10, however, tries to fix this by honoring the productive desktop environment and also keeping the good parts of the touch experience intact, perfect for 2-in-1s. Both are still separate experiences though, but switching between them is not jarring anymore thanks to Continuum. On a 2-in-1, if you remove the keyboard and go touch only, Continuum gets triggered and asks if you want to use the tablet mode. You can either make it ask every time or enable it to switch by default. But this is what happens when you go into tablet mode. The start menu goes full screen, the tiles spread out, apps in the side, and an extra back navigation button in the taskbar. The tablet mode has all the apps in full screen, even the old ones, so there's not a lot of dragging around of windows or prodding small touch targets. Some of the Windows 8 gestures are gone, but thankfully Windows 10 is smart enough to handle both the modes well, especially when it comes to using the virtual keyboard. Earlier there was the problem of the virtual keyboard not getting triggered in desktop apps even when a keyboard is not connected. In the tablet mode however, this has been fixed because all the apps go full screen and the virtual keyboard gets triggered for all the text fields. Even in the desktop mode, Microsoft has made touching the targets easier overall, making them slightly bigger than they were, which we feel is a commendable improvement for the interface, which now comes with a refreshed design. So, every time you remove or reattach that keyboard, the software adapts to this new hardware reality. This seamless transition from the desktop to the tablet mode or vice versa is what makes Windows 10 and Continuum perfect for two-in-ones. Switching from work to play or otherwise is a much better experience now and it seems like it is going to get only better from here. So what do you think of 2-in-1s and Continuum? Let us know in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching.